again. Lokotui playing halfback. A nice ball for Lilo. It's away from Ave. Very good continuity of play. Now Marath for Vahafalo. Damaging runner. Census Johnson's got his arms around the ball. Time off. James, walk away. Jesus, and great piece of footwork, or two pieces of great footwork from first. The number seven for Tonga, Vail Maunga, just stepping through a lot of traffic, and then after him, Tonga Yuya, the number 12, making a lot of yards in the middle of the park. Great continuity, as you said. I thought unlucky Census Johnson was on the board. It looked like it was going to be a turnover, but the referee coming in. So number six for Blue, Salavia. Taking out Morath there late. Well, Okay, when you tackle, He's in the act of passing. I think that's okay for mine. Back here. It is test football. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that to, to be called back for that. It's pretty tough there. He can find himself. No arms in the tackle. Well, no arms. Jeez Louise. Thank you, James. Well, the rear arms actually. The right arm was around the body of. However, the bottom line is it's a penalty to the Kingdom of Tonga. Just in that sequence of play though, Ken, they look very settled. They started to get into their patterns. First breaking down that right-hand side, then coming back to the middle. The last scrum. The last scrum was good. The Tonga Uya. Like that. And Joe Tui now. Yep. We're policing that side, made a lot of yards. And then Javier, the number nine, just scoping around the rucks there, making inroads if it's not on to give it wide, keeping the Samoan fours cl close. Kurt Marath. 15 from 16. Now and he continues this incredible run that he's having with his goal kicking in this year's Pacific Nations tournament, albeit another controversial decision from the officials. Of course, the same touch judge was involved in a very, what we regarded as a very unfair okay, sin binning when the Samoan team played I will come in across, Fiji in the I'll first round Next of this competition. So 6-3 the Kingdom of Tonga over Manu Samoa. Oh, very good work from David Lemmy, an outstanding, brilliant individual play. He's the sort of guy we want to see with the football. And the Kingdom of Tonga not doing enough to get under that ball. And Lemmy from the left wing, we know he's fast and clever and elusive. But what a show of talent from him. What a great kick there. To start it all off from James Soyolo. Confusion amongst the Tongan lifters. Joe Tuniao. Gets caught in the wrong position. The lifters with their head down. David Lemmy on the fly. That's not easy, people. I'll give you the jump to be able to score that. There's a brilliant reply there for Manu Samoa. In the villages of Vaya Fate and Salia Moa. These days with London Wasps in the English Premiership League. This can constitute the water break. Just reminding us once again. What a fine player he is, David Lemmy. Marius, can I put you in charge of when it's half time? He really has had limited opportunities, sorry Kent. So far in this tournament, David Lemmy. Just showing what he can do. He gets a little sniff. Very, very good effort from him. Such an instinctive player, David Lemmy. Been in the money Samoa Sevens for a long time as well. So he can create something for nothing. That's what he did on that occasion. Took it on his shoulders. Saw the miss kick or miss read from the Tongan side. 
such an instinctive player as David Limi. Short restart and not taken cleanly by Matua Inu. So the Kingdom of Tonga come away with the ball. And now poor Fisi. Need you to roll away quicker. Tekla roll clear. In the last couple of minutes, this game really has burst into life with the points. Shot call. Penalty goal for Tonga. Then the try reply from Samoa straight from that ensuing restart. Another opportunity for Tonga to take the lead with their third penalty attempt. Once again, the kickoff just proving so integral in this game of football. Not taking it cleanly there, the captain for Manu Samoa, Filippo Levy, very disappointed in himself. Rumour has it he's playing with his no number on his Juicy King because he left his playing one at the hotel. This guy on screen, Kurt Morath, has been outstanding for Tonga. In the first two games, I just like the way he's doing his late cuts with his outsides, really drawing in the defence of Manu Samoa. He's still making it so seconds. hard for the defence to chop, chop over. He's inside man so important in the defensive system. Problem for the competition's most outstanding goal kicker. Kurt Marath. I think he's been the game's most outstanding first 5-8. All facets of the game as well as running, his pass selection. It's been good, his technical kicking has been astute. His goal kicking, of course, has been sensational. And he will be a critical part of the Kingdom of Tonga's campaign for success in 2011 with James Soyalo and a short re-kick and won by Joe Lost forward off red in the air. And once again confusion from the lifters and the ball catcher they had two pods there coming into the one space to Tonga no one really taking control can see both pods Going into each other, it should have been Joe Tuinau's ball coming forward. Let's go. Here's your mark. Wasn't over caught, caught. And look at Tui unfortunately dropping that pill forward. Let's go. Square. So, talk about a game within a game. These two here, Census Johnson and Toma Lolo. Trying to take us back a little bit of what it used to be like with the front rowers. Absolutely going at each other. With everything they can to get an advantage. Halua, Fatuna Fili with a late inside ball for Fatua Otto. Very good carry from the centre. And the run around Samuel Fisa Trevorinas. Now they go back to left. And Timotio Nasua. It's accidental offside. He couldn't get out of the way. Yeah, a bit of feeling here from both sides. Unfortunately, just a bit scrappy at the end part of that movement. <coughs> Number eight, Officer Trevoranis, did well from the scrum to get that ball free. There's a lot of pressure on him to Brenton Hillier. And it's just an accidental offside from the Samoan player. Great inroads, as you said, from number 13, Ken Otto. Put the forwards around the corner, got on the front foot. Fatunu Fa Fili with the big long pass. And unfortunately, no Sua did a little chip and chase and didn't do it high enough, didn't get over, didn't get the projectile and find a space in behind Tonga where I think they are a bit suspect. So it was a good option. Crouch. Unfortunately, just wasn't executed properly. Touch. Pause. Engage. Six day on six. Tonga. Another Huffalo does well to get some metres down a short blind. It looked like they had some obstructions at the back, but the big number eight does well to go forward. Now another strong carry from Maafu. Now Tomalolo straight through the middle. Three carries, they've gone 50 metres. Now Marath, the cutout ball, and another cutout ball down the left for Malupo.
Great endeavour there by the Tongan team. Great continuity, both backs and forwards. Well, Falau, the captain, is looking to go left. There's a lot of pressure. Yes, and make sure Sensed that there was opportunities right. The winger for Manu Samoa, David Lemmy, would have been tracking his opposite, so they would have been open field. There's a lot of space down there. Oleavai, the hooker, Jonathan, and Mark Lottini is the target. Mix Bath and now it's Scarlet. And Samoa. No collapse, Go forward. no collapse. Tiviliami Mafu, the blindside flanker for the Kingdom of Tonga. Working very hard, he can't see the ball. He's operating under instinct, trying to be disruptive. And Salavir has picked him up, he's got his arms on the ball now. Lavier's going forward. Great show of resilience and competitiveness from Viliami Ma'afu as Samoa finds some space down the left hand side. Soyalo, his right arm available, loses the ball forward. Tonga Uya in traffic under pressure. Back, back, back. Thank you. Lilo at halfback. Now they start from inside their own half. Great recognition of where the space was by Kurt Morath. Just changing his kick. He was looking to go long in the middle. Seven. Saw the space was on the left-hand side, so he put a little punch kick in behind the front line of Samoa. But great work. Firstly by the number six, Viliami Mafu. And also Tom Malolo to come through that ruck and disrupt it. Kick it out of the hands of the Money Samoa team. Avey, and again, Matua Inu is the target, jumping at the front of the line out. Census Johnson, what a good tackle. Very good tackle from Vail Monga. 135 kilos of taro and corned beef, and Census Johnson coming hard and direct at Vail Monga, who's half a size, and stopped him dead in his tracks as Malupo with a midfield bomb taken by Hilua, gets away from the first defender, backs away from. The tackle of Marcy. This player here didn't retire out of the team. Number 10. Sorry, number 2. Oh, number great two technique from the open side from uh, for Tonga. Vail Maunga. Just stop Census Johnson's in his track. But how good is this take from okay. Hillier? Knowing that the hit's coming. Takes it, just backs off the strength to just buy time for his forwards. Bumped off another would-be defender as well. He's given his team an opportunity with the penalty and the throw to the line out. Another attacking one. Very slow to this line out, too, of the Money Samoa team. A big pack. I remind you that Tonga beat Fiji 45 21, but they lost to Japan 28 27. But they did enough to get a bonus point. There's only three rounds in the Pacific Nation, so they're one win and one loss. And they are on six points. The other three teams in the competition, Manu Samoa, Fiji and Japan, with the same win-loss record, obviously, but only on five points. So the formula for the Kingdom of Tonga is a bonus point win, which will take them to 11 points, and they can sew this championship up. And bearing in mind that this team did not win a game at the 2010 tournament, okay, let's go. what Isatola Maka and Tutai Kifu have done with this team, has been tremendous. And here's Lemmy at his very, very best. We talk about the, Sa, um, the, the Kingdom of Tonga coaches, Fui Maono, Diki Tafua, Stan Tokmalatai, Tuluai, and Samoa and Tuala Matvai, the work that they have done to build this program in Samoa up to a point where these boys can be competitive. It's been terrific as Porto with a cutout ball for Lemmy and a left foot step on Helu. Stays inside the field of play. Porto at halfback. And a low ball, Census Johnson. Gets the ball and two Tongan defenders. Philly with a cutout ball. Matua Inu does very well. That's a good carry from. The lock forward, Brenton Hillier with a Backwards. ball going behind Philly. Roll left foot, left foot, then Lokotui, Belden. 